Come to think of it. Wow. Hmm. Do you have a moment? I was just told that the chairman will be stopping by this evening. When you get back, make sure to come to the fourth floor. Oh, okay then. I'll see you all later. Talk about short notice. Maybe he wants to tell us a new joke. Who knows, but I am a little curious. Koro-chan, shake. <laughs> oh, he did it. What a smart dog. Oh, welcome back. Hey there. Sure, go on, Koro. You know how to say hi. I've seen him sitting by the steps of the shrine. Oh, this dog still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest at the Naganaki Shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. So that's what he was doing here. That is, until the priest passed away. He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? I think it was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. He didn't survive. Ever since then, that dog has continued to go on walks, always stopping to sit by the site of the accident. Oh my goodness, look at the time. I must be going. My son will be home soon. Such a loyal dog. Good boy. Huh? Is he? What's wrong? Uh, oh, nothing. Sorry. More importantly, isn't the chairman coming today? We should probably go get ready. Yeah, you're right. See you later, Koro-chan. Hello, everyone. It concerns the shadows that have been appearing during full moon. Now, I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories, according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while. We can think of it like their class or order. I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far, and, well, it's simply fascinating. Why are you so excited about it? So... Ah, huh, right. Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. And that's something we should be excited about? Oh, I get it. There are twelve in all, and eight we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Yamagishi-kun. You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question, and that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. Now, it could be considered predation, but is it really? Is there actually an underlying intent behind their behavior? The purpose of the shadows as a whole. That's what we need to consider. This is interesting. But no matter what their intent, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last. That means we better start training harder. We'll manage. 
We've got plenty of time. But why does Tartarus even exist in the first place? <laughs>